Hello everyone, welcome to the new episode of Weekend Musings. My name is Ishwala Srinivasan and I'm super excited to host you guys today. Uh, today we'll be talking about AI in finance. So we'll be touching upon some of the problem statements, discussing these use cases from a machine learning perspective. There are multiple areas in financial institutes where machine learning models would play a very crucial role. So three of the areas would be process automation and optimization, customer engagement, and financial investment and advisory. The first section is process automation and optimization. So in financial institutes, there are multiple process based work that takes up hours of human effort. With the amount of digitized data, which is available with these institutions, building automation algorithms and optimizing these processes can save millions of dollars for them each year. So let's talk about the two use cases that fall under the process automation. One is loan decision prediction and two is credit limit allocation. Let's talk about loan decision prediction. In the first look at it, it seems as a very easy problem that can be solved by binary classification. But there are two major challenges involved. One is data. The percentage of customers who are approved for the loans compared to the ones who are not is very skewed. And that is what creates an unbalanced data set and requires very careful feature engineering and parameter optimization that are needed for training the model. The loan decision modeling is a use case where model metrics need to be very dis decided cautiously. A regular metric like accuracy precision might not be the right metric here to measure the model performance as the risk weighted is differently for approving a wrong customer versus rejecting a right customer. A second challenge here is explainability and fairness components in the model. The decision of the model being uh, able to uh, decide which person needs to be approved or rejected needs to be explainable and it needs to point out saying that these are the characters and reasons why the person was approved or rejected for a particular loan. The model also needs to be inspected if it has any sort of biases that might exist in terms of gender, caste, or even locality of that person. The second use case is credit limit allocation. In the credit limit allocation use case, we try to build a model to allocate the right credit line amount for a particular customer and for which we have to look at various different subtasks. One of those is risk analysis. The model has to predict the risk of the customer based on their past credit history, statements, spending pattern, asset or liability portfolio. With the credit risk available, we can now append it with the other features of the customers like income, if he has been having timely payments, and use it to generate a regression model and identify a safe credit limit to be allocated to the customer. Second section in financial institutes where uh, machine learning and AI is very useful is in customer engagement. So there are two use cases here. One is chatbots and the second one is having offer recommendations. Talking about chatbots, having good customer support is a crucial use case, not just for financial institutes, but for any organization in general who are handling a B2C model. Chatbots now have become a go-to solution for any organization as it helps them save the amount of man hours that is invested in the call centers. It also saves them a lot of money for the infrastructure costs involved in these call centers. Having virtual assistants is a boon in this uh, situation as it can help you churn a lot of different information that a human is not capable of and providing seamless assistance 24-7. The only caveat that I see here is a complicated situation where you do not have uh, FAQ suffice all your customer requests. Companies have been working to analyze the call records and transcripts running NLP models to understand the intent for the calls made by the customers. The customer calls can be very complicated at times because they could be facing a unique challenges or multiple challenges at the same time. And hence, analyzing the calls or transcriptions, we often see multiple intents on a call proceeding. 
at the moment chatbot technology that we still see doesn't have context matching or entity mapping if we were able to provide multiple sentences to the chatbot it would not be able to understand the entire gist of the situation also once we provide a statement and we refer it to later in the conversation the chatbot will not be able to match it in the, as the context of the conversation these are some of the well known challenges in natural process natural language processing models and hence a lot of research is going on in being building more resilient context matching models that can provide better customer support the second use case is having offer recommendation so recommendation algorithms have come a long way from content based collaborative filtering or even clustering based models to hybrid and now research is being going on around building reinforcement learning models which will help us recommend things building recommendation models can be tricky as evaluating someone's recommendation is a very subjective process two people with the same interest might not be equally aligned and having like the same likelihood for uh, accepting a recommendation which is given to them these models are very challenging to build in places like youtube netflix or amazon e-commerce where there are like humongous corpus of data and varied human interests whereas offer recommendation is a relatively easier algorithm to crack when it comes to a financial institution institution setup because they have a limited pool of offers and we need to match them to the customer's data for example let's say we want to build an offer recommendation system for credit cards we look at what the customer's spending patterns has been where where are their shopping days which stores do they visit the most what stores are there in their vicinity what are the things which they like to buy a lot and what is the pattern when we see they are like after they follow after completing their shopping so for example we can give them a cab recommendation and say that if you're using our credit card you would be getting this discount this is again being tracked live stream whenever they are going shopping and they are swiping their card we immediately know their location details and we can produce those dynamic results of recommendation to the model the third setup where we see use of machine learning models is in financial investments and advisory this is one of my favorite use cases making financial investment decisions building portfolios having financial advisory for organization can be a really good fit opportunity for building machine learning models here we see in the current financial market there are so many data signals that could affect the movement of the market and trading policies which might have worked at some given point in time would not be effective now because there's a lot of changing scenarios in the market and there are a lot of different things which trigger it and this one is a field where we are also starting to research on leveraging reinforcement learning models and having more robustness in the system where we are able to learn from the changing patterns in the market for financial investment use case we would see varied risk appetite of the customers different ranges of amount that they would like to invest in different kind of industry stock portfolios which would they would like to invest in some would want more of a diversified portfolio where as some other would like a streamlined portfolio where the investments are only made in certain industries making such financial advisors could also be a great place where we can have dynamic models using reinforcement learning i really wish this was a helpful session for you guys to understand the use cases which are available in financial institutions and i would be putting in the links about uh, the things we talked about today and some of the reference materials which you can read later in the description below and thank you so much for listening in thank you so much for um, like staying till the end of the video uh, in the next video i would be touching upon data privacy and uh, followed by federated learning in the upcoming upcoming videos so stay tuned subscribe to the channel to be updated with the latest, with the latest videos which are coming in. thank you so much and have a good day